Hi, everybody. Welcome to Gallery, and today we are going to unbox and demonstrate to you how to use the Premium Series Mobius Airbrush. Upon opening the box, you can see a variety of paperwork that includes the introduction of Gallery, Mobius, and also an instruction manual. Please bear in mind that this is the Japanese version. For international version, you will get everything in English. Then we have the body of the airbrush, a paint cup, which is different from the 0.3mm version, extra O-rings, cause those do tend to wear out, and lubricant. To start using the Mobius airbrushes, first screw on the paint cup, then remove the airbrush nozzle rubber case, check if every component is fastened tightly with no air leaks like the air cap, you can adjust the air control knob, the male quick release, fitting, which you can remove if not necessary, the airbrush tail, you can remove the whole tail section by just unscrewing it, then check if the needle is properly placed in position, the screws are tight and you're ready to airbrush. Here's a quick look at the 0.3mm version versus the 0.2mm. The paint cup size is different. The 02 has the precision air control knob, and the design of the tail is different as well. A quick tip here is to get yourself an airbrush moisture filter to avoid any water buildup in your airbrush body. And having a quick release fitting really helps you to save time and be more efficient. We have those for sale as well. Link in description. Once you have set up everything, just click the airbrush into place and you are ready. Load your paint from the top into the paint cup. Make sure that your paint is in the right consistency. We have another in-depth video explaining that as well. Link will be in the description. If you're using the 0.2mm version Mobius airbrush, first we would recommend you to try airbrush on a piece of paper to get the right adjustment. We will show you how the precision air control knob works. Tightening the knob will reduce airflow into the airbrush, allowing you to airbrush fine lines. And, as you loosen the knob, more air will go through, producing a wider line. To clean the airbrush, start by pouring airbrush cleaner or your paint thinner into the paint cup. Then you can either use the nozzle rubber case to cover the nozzle, or push your finger against the nozzle to block the air from coming out, producing what's known as back spray. To stir the paint residue from inside the airbrush body with your cleaner and just dump it all out into the airbrush cleaner cup. Then you can use kitchen towels or tissue to wipe the paint cup to remove any trapped paint residue. Our Ultra Mirror Level Paint Cup certainly helps in this situation. Then repeat the process until you're satisfied. For deep cleans, you can remove the needle from the back of the airbrush by unscrewing the airbrush tail and the screw, and clean the needle from the back to the front with your tissue dapped in airbrush cleaner. For the nozzle, simply dap cotton buds with airbrush cleaner solution and remove paint residue like how we did in the video. Lastly, reinstall everything back and you're done. We hope that this video will help you in any way possible. And if you still have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via Instagram or simply comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.